Hi everyone, I'm Shinjinji. Welcome to the first episode of the Night in the Woods in Unit series. In this episode, we are going to set up the Universal Render Pipeline. The first thing to do is to create a Unity project. We are going to select a 2D project instead of the already built URP project because I want you to know where and what to look for when needed. The first thing to do is to download and install the Universal RP. From the Package Manager, select Window, Package Manager and search for Universal RP. Now we have to create the Universal RP. Right click in the Project Assets folder and create a new one called Universal RP. Right click inside it and select Create Rendering Universal Render Pipeline pipeline asset. After we created the universal RP, it's time to assign it. Go to Edit, Project Settings, Graphics, click on the circle where it says Scriptable Render Pipeline Settings and assign the one we previously created. After that, we have to update the shaders. The scene might turn pink after you have assigned the universal RP. That's because the shaders need to be updated. To do so, click on Edit, Render Pipeline, Universal Render Pipeline, Upgrade Project Materials to Universal RP Materials. Now we have to create the actual 2D renderer. Go in the Project View and in the Assets folder locate the Universal RP one we created before and right click inside it. Select Create Rendering Universal Render Pipeline 2D Renderer. As for the Universal RP, also the 2D renderer has to be assigned. Select the Universal Render Pipeline asset we created before in the Universal RP folder, the one with the general tab in it. Expand the tab and drag the 2D renderer in the renderer list. Now it's time to update the renderer. As for the shaders, even the renderer has to be updated. To do so, select Edit. Render Pipeline, Universal RP, 2D Renderer, Upgrade Scene to 2D Renderer. To check if everything is working fine, you can put an element into the scene and create a global light to light it up. If the object becomes white after inserting the global light into the scene, it means that everything is working fine. This is all for today's video, in the next one we are going to cover sprite shapes. Be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when the next episode comes out. If you have any question, comment down below, it's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the journey.